Last question. This is a little weird one, but you've called yourself crazy in the past. <laughs> uh, first of all, on a scale of one to 10, how crazy would you say are you? Oh, I mean, it depends how you, you know, when you compare me to Elon Musk and Anthony Lewandowski, not so crazy. So like like a seven? Let's go with six. Six, yeah. six, six. What? Uh, well, I like seven. Seven's a good number. Seven? All right. Well, yeah, I'm sure day by day it changes, right? So, but you're in that in that area. What, uh, in thinking about that, what do you think is the role of madness? Is that a feature or a bug if you were to uh, dissect your brain? So, okay, from like a like mental health lens on crazy, I'm not sure I really believe in that. I'm not sure I really believe in like a lot of that stuff, right? This concept of, okay, you know, when you get over to like, 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 like hardcore bipolar and schizophrenia, these things are clearly real, somewhat biological. And then over here on the spectrum, you have like ADD and oppositional defiance disorder and these things that are like, wait, this is normal spectrum human behavior. Like this isn't, you know, where's the, the line here and why is this like a problem? So there's this whole, this, you know, the neurodiversity of humanity is it's huge. Like people think I'm always on drugs. People are always saying this to me on my streams. I'm like, guys, you know, like I'm real open with my drug use. I'd tell you if I was on drugs. I'm, I mean, yeah, I had like a cup of coffee this morning, but other than that, this is just me. You're, you're witnessing my brain yeah. in action. Do you so, so the word madness doesn't even uh, make sense in the new, in the rich neurodiversity of humans. I think it makes sense, but only for like some insane extremes. Like if you are actually like visibly hallucinating, right. um, you know that's okay. But there is the kind of spectrum on which you stand out. Like that that's uh like if I were to look you know, a decorations on a Christmas tree or something like that. Like if you were a decoration out, that would catch my eye. Like that thing is sparkly. <laughs> what if, <laughs> whatever the hell that thing is. Uh, so th there's something to that. Just like refusing to be um, boring or maybe boring is the wrong word, but to, um, yeah, I mean, be willing to sparkle. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's it's like somewhat constructed. I mean, I am who I choose to be. Uh, I'm going to say things as true as I can see them. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. And but that's a really important feature in itself. So like whatever the neurodiversity of your whatever your brain is, not putting um, constraints on it that force it to, to fit into the mold of what society is like defines what you're supposed to be. So you're one of the specimens that that doesn't mind being yourself. Being right is super important, except at the expense of being wrong. <laughs> Without breaking that apart, I think it's a beautiful way to end it. Uh, George, you're, you're one of the most special humans I know. It's truly an honor to talk to you. Thanks so much for doing it. Thank you for having me.